I said, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. And you've been waiting for me all night. She said, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey there everyone, Hitesh here back again with another video and this is 60k special. So first of all, thank you so much for the, all the love that you have been showing around on this channel. This is really an overwhelming situation because I never thought that I'll be reaching this big number uh, so quickly on the YouTube and all, all credit goes to you. This channel is one of the most loved channel that I have ever seen. Uh, for the programming and everything people are getting connected people are not only getting the videos by which they just write the code But also get the videos uh, by which they can start learning programming get some motivation of that and All this is happening because of you your love your support that is just keep coming keep flooding on this channel And that's why I make these videos So I thought that I'll be doing something special on this 60k special video and I asked all of you to just post down some questions on my Facebook page. Now, in case a lot of you don't know where I actively stays on the social media, it's the Facebook, not the Twitter. I do have a Twitter account, but I don't maintain it much. Uh, so I most of the time hang around on my Facebook page. I asked a lot of you to put down your questions in the comment section below so that I can answer them in the 60K special video. And there was again an overwhelming response and I just love the way how you people respond and this makes my day So I have picked up a few of your questions. I'll try to make this video as val valuable as possible and Let's get started and answer a few of your important questions So we're gonna go and get started with the good one first And I really love the way how you people just support because it's not easy to say that uh, hey you are doing a good work because it sometimes takes an effort and sometimes it takes a courage to just say something good for it. Now imagine how many times have you have you ever seen the t-shirts that you'd really like that somebody is wearing and have you said to a stranger that hey that's a nice t-shirt. So you are just doing same thing for me and I really appreciate that. So the first comment is sir thanks for the learn code online without this we can't learn such an easy way and many things in short period of time. I want to meet you. Surely I'll, I'll post some of the details about where my upcoming travel plans are and I'll try my best to meet a lot of you guys and uh, thank you so much for all the nice comments and compliments uh, that you post down at my channel at my Facebook. It really makes my day. This is the very first thing I do just after waking up in the morning that I check up my emails, I check up my comments and uh, this gives me a big smile that hey people are liking what I'm trying to do. The next question is again rather a good compliment here and it says I want to learn web development and learning HTML5 and your productivity hack for HTML5 and CSS3 helping me to code like a pro. Thank you. Now yes again this is one of the very fantastic and free course available at Learn Code Online. I highly recommend everybody to at least uh, take this course. What this course does it helps you to install a plugin on your existing editor which can be sublime text, which can be brackets, which can be atom or maybe some other you are using and just increase your productivity by having simple shortcuts. Just by remembering these shortcuts you can make your life uh, much more easier, faster and you can produce much more awesome code. And yes I have recently rolled out a uh, Android app for the Learn Code Online. Uh, this app I would consider as in beta, the official one will come up in the next month. Uh, this app is just kind of a test run uh, that I'm trying to do with that. The official one with all the awesome graphics and all the problems being solved is going to come up very soon. The next question is actually very very interesting one. It says, make a video what to do when you frustrate in development job. It's easy, it's easy. Uh, a lot of people like me when they write code and sometimes your code doesn't work or sometimes the client doesn't like your artwork or graphic works or the code that you have written, it's okay to get frustrated. It's a part of the job and it's not like it's only available in the programming field. It's there in every job, in the doctors, in engineers, uh, in the construction line, it's everywhere. So make sure you exercise daily and accept the no. Uh, the moment you will be start accepting the no thing, uh, things are going to be much more easier. For me particularly, when I get frustrated with these kinds of development job and everything, uh, I usually hit the swimming pool uh, very first thing in the morning that makes me relax, keeps me calm. And the second thing, I accept the situation. Whenever somebody says no or things don't work, I just accept that, hey, it's not going to work. So I need to take a break. And my advice would be just... Uh, 
keep yourself engaged in something else uh, rather than just st sitting around and just staring that code it's bad thing go out have a walk in a nearby park or have a glass of water or something just distract your minds a little bit uh, because our mind has a tendency to work uh, much more awesome when it's less stressed out so relax your stress and just uh, relax out it's not the end of the day if the code is not working or you are frustrated there will be another day so go ahead uh, relieve your stress and it will surely help you the next question is not a question it's a request and i will fulfill it very soon sir make a video on what path to learn to take after learning front end there are so many frameworks and technologies for backend i'm learning front end from lco now front end is your gateway is your path to learn all those awesome technology but at least everybody should understand the front end basics and yes, I do understand your frustration because backend is pretty, pretty vast and it has a lot of options like PHP, Node.js, React, Firebase, .NET, uh, Ruby on Rails, Django, probably I have missed a hundred still. Uh, so yes, this is a big thing to uh, decide first of all yourself. And then again, a lot of variable comes in like the market demand, market value, the jobs you are going to be getting, which cities you are uh, looking up to get jobs. So it's it's a big decision to take and I'll for sure uh, make up probably the very next video on uh, the path to take for getting started in the backend technologies. And thank you so much for the request and I'll try to fulfill it very soon. Now, next question is being hacked. And by hacked, I mean, uh, I asked you to ask one question and somebody just uh, get a question in the part a b c so yes that's a kind of a nice hack but let's read out a few of them because there are a lot of questions being asked here and the questions are most over uh, required or are being asked on the cyber security or information security domain so what are career opportunities in cyber security how to play ctf it's a capture the flag uh, is there any possibility to get android ios pen testing course at lco in future uh, like complete front end course uh, when we get complete backend course like PHP, React or more. How to maintain the consistency in this field? Journey from Hitesh Chaudhary to the Hitesh Chaudhary. Oh, that's a lot of questions. I'll try to answer a few of them. Uh, there are hundreds and hundreds of opportunities in cybersecurity, in pen testing, uh, in regular testing with Selenium, in development. The IT sector is booming. And all those people who are saying that IT sector is in the downfall, probably are not aware of what the situation is actually. Uh, every single day, hundreds of jobs are being posted, but still, uh, there is one thing to take care here that jobs are only being posted for the people who have skills, not the people who just have degree and have no idea how to install even a Windows or a Mac on your system. For those people, yes, definitely there is a big struggle. For the all those people who are skilled enough, there's lots of opportunity and cybersecurity is one of the growing field out there. Now, coming up to your point, like CTFs and uh, courses on Android iOS pen testing, uh, yes, they are, in, they are in the pipeline. Uh, not very soon, uh, especially for the Android one. iOS pen testing is not yet planned or anything. Android pen testing may come up very soon, but not very soon because there are a lot of other courses which are planned, uh, which are far more, more in demand compared to these guys. Uh, what was the next one? Like complete front end course, when we are going to get complete back end. Uh, already there are backend course they are not named as complete backend developer course but yes there is a course on PHP there is a course on react JS and few more stuff are going to be added in those courses as well so stay tuned uh, more updates are going to be coming up uh, about the react JS and everybody of you is going to like uh, immensely love this update so it's going to come up very soon stay tuned for that for the question journey from Hitesh Chaudhary to the Hitesh Chaudhary uh, I don't think so I'm that big enough to talk about that probably maybe in some later on videos I'll talk about uh, how I have maintained the consistency making these videos taking hundreds of projects uh, traveling around the world uh, everything so maybe we require a lot of more videos to come up in the future for this topic okay next question is almost related to freelancing and it's an interesting one it says congrats on hitting 60k thank you so much what factor do you consider for charging a website and how to avoid being underpaid now this is a debatable question because the amount you are charging for designing a website depends on your skills your past experience and the need of the client as well so a lot of variables are uh, involved in this situation usually uh, I personally start my pricing uh, let, let's just say for 200 or 250 dollars 
because I have been uh, I have got a lot of experience in web development I have handled a lot of clients and by just involving me companies actually saves a lot of money because I I tell them uh, what kind of technologies you should be working on which are future proof and everything so they saves a lot of money uh, by just paying me a fees but again it depends how much labor work is going to be there how much manual work is there that's my number one variable to charge those companies and after that how much uh, revisions they are going to take uh, for that for example if they are char saying that hey we want three revisions so that's going to be a different charge if they say hey i'm going to be having like eight revisions then obviously it's going to cost more and this is the thing that i've seen especially in the indian clients that uh, they don't pay you they don't like to pay you for the revisions for example uh, after three months or four months a, a person is going to come up to you and is going to say hey i just want to change a phone number on the website can you do that Obviously, it's a small thing for me, but I don't take those requests because these are just the revisions. And probably sometimes people just come up, hey, we have changed the logo. Could you change our logo there? Oh, we have changed our uh, color schemes now. Would you like to change our color scheme for free? I said, no, uh, this is considered as a revision. And if you want to do a revision because it's consuming my time, it's consuming my skills, I'm going to charge for it. So uh, make sure you keep all those variables involved and especially how much manual work and time you're gonna be giving to the client, all these are gonna be involved. For the beginners, it's usually not that much good. It starts from like $50 to $100, but after a couple of projects, you can increase your price pretty easily because now you have got projects, portfolio and experience. So go ahead, charge a little bit more. Okay, this is very interesting question and it's going to help you a lot. It says, sir, I'm a slow learner. Is Android development or web development is made for me or not? Now let's keep aside uh, whether Android development, web development or iOS, whatever you are talking about. This is not about that. This is about the line when you said, I'm a slow learner. Now nobody, nobody on this planet Earth is a slow learner. Let me give you a quick example. When you try to make, uh, when you try to fill up a form on maybe airport or maybe your board exams or anything, when you are stressed out quite a lot, there are high possibilities that you are going to make mistake in that form. While on the other hand, if you just have to casually write your name on a piece of paper, you don't make ever those kind of mistake. So it's inside your brain. When your brain is stressed out quite a lot, when uh, at that exact moment, you become a slow learner. Now, another good example would be when you simply are traveling from one state to another state, you see a board on the highway that simply says, hey, NH11, uh, 15 kilometers away. Now, you just read that board in just a glance. You just saw it there and you have read it. That's it. While on the other hand, when you're trying to read a book or documentation, you want to uh, give extra stress to that, you read it word by word and that decreases your productivity. So I think for you, your stress is actually decreasing your productivity. You are not a slow learner, but you are taking it too much stress that whether I'll be able to do it or not, whether I'll get a job after learning all this or not. And lot of other such variables so my advice would be first of all keep yourself calm make sure that you are not stressed out and you focus just on learning that's it that should be your goal and this is going to increase your productivity and after that web development android ios it doesn't really matter you're gonna learn just like that and very fast okay last one is interesting and we're gonna take this as well Sir, when you had started YouTubing at initial stage for a long time, you didn't have the amount of followers or viewers what keep you motivating that today you are at this level. Now, yes, this is a little bit awkward situation at the starting days of the YouTube because you're making videos and obviously your videos are not this much of the quality that I have right now. And obviously it's going to increase in the future. Uh, but it's really awkward situation that you are making videos and nobody is watching that. But hey, uh, if you're expecting the result on the day one, uh, it's something wrong. It's, it's something that is uh, conceptually wrong in you. You should not be expecting that. Now, for me, I was a little bit lucky that within a few months, uh, I, I got really good amount of subscribers. But that is all because I have spent huge number of time and amount and uh, dedication in learning all those web technologies so that people uh, can come up here and can listen some good advice and can see some of the good courses here. So it's not being built up in the day one. Everything takes time. There is no such magic that is going to happen and you're going to be lucky. Uh, one of your videos is going to get viral and you're going to get millions of subscribers. This is not an entertainment channel because uh, for those entertainment channel, it's possibly a chance to go there. Like it, if it's a Casey Neistat video, it can go viral. But these kinds of videos uh, don't go viral because these videos are just meant for a special kind of audience, programmers. And... Uh, 
they don't make do that kind of money as well they don't go viral as well so yes uh, all i'm saying is be consistent don't expect the result in at least uh, initial six months at least whether it's a youtube programming or whatever you are trying to do playing sports doing youtubing or whatever you are doing don't expect result in at least for six months and try to improve yourself every single day and that's what makes you better and last but not the least how can we forget haters uh, yes, if somebody is saying that, hey, you are having 60,000 subscribers, a lot of people love you on YouTube, uh, shows all these loves in emails and Facebook comments and chats. Uh, don't you have any haters? Yes, I do have and it's okay. It's okay to have a couple of them. Uh, it's not like whatever I'm going to do is going to be loved by every single person and that's the truth and that's the fact everybody should expect. Whatever you are doing, uh, it's not compulsory that everybody is going to like that. Some people are going to just hate it and literally hate that. And it's okay. It's a democracy. It's a freedom. Internet is a free world. You are free to hate it. You are free to love it. And that's it. That's all about it. So it's okay. Uh, if you don't like the videos, that's okay. I'll try to improve in the future. Stay tuned. And things are going to change really quickly. So this was the 60k special Q&A and this happened because of you because you hit that subscribe button and we got a 60k subscriber and that's what makes it possible. Okay so finally uh, I know this is a long video but I wanted to give you a little bit more updates. Uh, we are trying to move everything from uh, in the learn code online dot in to version 2 and you're gonna see some lots of good updates uh, that are gonna be rolled out in the first week of the next month which is September and I think all of you are going to love it. And also, in case you are new to this channel and you love this content and there are others, hundreds of contents being available at the channel, what are you waiting for? Why haven't you hit the subscribe button yet? And I highly recommend to do hit that subscribe button and hit that like button in case you like this video. And I'll definitely catch you up in the next video.